her and Chelsea Gray acknowledged here in front of the convention center crowd during that last time out in their homecoming as Zowie V continues her hot, hot shoot. Wheeler over Wilson this time and gets the three. So Erica Wheeler gets on the board for the first time tonight. She hit that jumper against Stewie on Sunday. Here's Cooper, a little hezzy in the lane. Cooper off glass. Change of speed, pace under control. Taya Cooper really has found what, what's been working for her. And there it is, a little defense, creating offense. Can't come up with it, but that's Taya Cooper's job. You know, Taya Cooper came to the Sparks last season. She was cut by Phoenix. There was no training camp. They didn't really even get to see her her rookie year. They let her go in a bubble pandemic season. She gets picked up by the Sparks, and opportunity met her here. You know, is able to slice that through. Cooper steps into a three. That's one thing through this streak that she's been on right here, this change of pace, if you will. She's shooting the three a whole lot better, Ross. Nice pick and roll. Cox getting the bucket. Beautiful setup there by Cooper. That's just her working two-woman game with Taya Cooper, keeping her hands high, rolling in the basket, understanding spacing, and making a great basketball play. Screen, roll, create the space. Nice pass from Taya Cooper. First bucket for Lauren Cox as a spark. So on that Jordan Brand family team, it's the largest female roster that they've had ever. So she's actually, there's a whole crew of them on the court right now. Taya Cooper, as she gets a bucket. Jordan Brand, Arella Garantes from the Sparks as well, Jordan Brand family. Here's Cooper in the scrum, comes out with it. Cooper against Park, steps back on her and knocks down the 15-footer. Taya Cooper, she's averaged over 20 her last couple of games. 